Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions and in today's video I'm going to show you a handful of tricks that are going to help you make your text look better and create it faster in AutoCAD. I think you guys are going to enjoy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button and let's get started. <laughs> All right, so today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a handful of tips and tricks when working with text in AutoCAD. It can be kind of finicky. It's not quite as straightforward as something like Word or Excel. Uh, and some of these features are kind of hidden within the software. Uh, this all started when I got asked how to center text. Um, while that may seem pretty straightforward to many, it's actually something that gets asked quite a bit. So I'm gonna show you guys how to create labels like these room tags here with different size text centered as well as having a center point that you can grip and move it from so you can keep everything nice and centered. Uh, I'm also going to show you a handful of other tricks as we go along so don't forget to stick around to the end of the video. All right, so first up, we've got a piece of M text here that can be created just by using the multi-line text tool up top or MT or M text in the command line. This is under the annotate tab. Once you've got that text, double clicking it is gonna allow you to edit it. And from here, highlighting any piece of text in this M text is gonna allow you to change the settings independently of the rest of the text in your M text. So in this case, we can make this bottom line here smaller. You can see by default, it's set to nine inches. We're going to change that down to six. So I've got that selected. We're gonna hit type in six and hit the inch symbol there and you can see now we've got small text down below now say we want to add that underline under the top line selecting the top line and choosing the underline button or using control and u will add the underline effect now to center it we can use control a or just drag and highlight it all and choose this button up here called center this is under your spacing and justification area Hitting center is going to center it, but you'll see when we select it and double click in here, it's kind of justified a little bit weird. That's because we haven't changed up the justification. In most cases for say a title or room tag, you're gonna to want top center, which is gonna put the justification in the middle center at the top. You could also do middle center, which is the direct center of your text. I'm gonna to use top center for this one. Now you can see we've got this button here at the uh, top center and our text is now centered within our text box. Now we can move this around, place it where we'd like and it looks just like the other ones that we've got there. Now one thing to note and to use uh, sparingly here is you can see that when I drag this uh, toggle here wider or narrower this is setting the extents or boundaries of our text dragging it all the way to the left is going to take away that and it's basically just going to let text go as long as you'd like uh, so you can see here I can just keep typing space and it's not going to wrap to the next line whereas if we change this and you adjust it you can see how this wraps so if we just drop it all the way to the left it's going to let it go infinitely. Uh, so this can be a good way to create labels sometimes if you don't want them skipping down to the next line. And it also makes sure that that setting doesn't get changed or you run into issues if you add text to labels and it hits the end and then wraps down and creates a weird looking second line for say a long note or call out. Another tool I wanted to highlight in the uh, annotate or text editing uh, ribbon up here is the superscript and subscript options. So you can see here when we select a piece of text, so I'm just gonna hit uh, enter here or space, and I'm gonna put the area. So we're gonna put say 125, and we want square meters. So we want M2, and then another bracket there. So if you'd like to make this piece of text here a superscript or subscript, either meaning above or below. You can use these two buttons here, which not a lot of people notice. So you can simply click it with the text selected and it's going to shrink it and move it up or down depending on which one you use. Uh, this can be super helpful when using for areas and calculations uh, in tables. 
Now, before we jump into the next few tips, I wanted to say if you like these tips or you want to learn more about AutoCAD, whether that's the fundamentals or tips and tricks, I have a course available for instant download. You can click on the link up above and down below to check out more information on those. The links are discounted for viewers such as yourself. In it, I've packed over a decade of my experience using AutoCAD and Civil 3D to share as much as I could about different workflows and tips of using AutoCAD. AutoCAD, everything from setting up drawing templates and layers, all the way to creating plans, X-refing drawings in, how to package and send drawings, creating text, annotative scaling, all of that is in the course and much more. Again, you can check it out at the link up above and down below where I go into more detail of what's included. And again, those links are discounted for viewers such as yourself. All right, so into the next tip here and that's a quick one here i just wanted to show you if you have a bunch of notes whether in paper space or in model space and you want them aligned along uh, either the say the left or horizontally there's a command up here that will allow you to align text it's called text align selecting it and then checking or selecting your text pieces and hitting enter is going to allow you to align them. It's going to ask which text object you want to align to, or if you type in P and enter, you can choose a specific point to align all of your text to. I'm just going to choose this upper piece of text, and now you can see I have snapped to that text automatically, and now I can move my text to align. Hitting F8 is going to turn on the ortho snap here, and that's going to ensure that it is aligned up and down or vertically to the text above it. This is going to help you create nice and clean legends or note sections in your drawing, and this can be super useful, especially when you're working with a ton of different sections of notes and legend items. This is gonna keep everything nice and clean and aligned perfectly. All right, so lastly here, I wanted to show you a couple tips and tricks when it comes to highlighting specific text within your drawing. And there's a few ways to do this, but I get asked it quite a bit. And that's how do I put a box or say a circle around a piece of text in AutoCAD? So I'm just going to select a piece of text here and use control and one to turn on my properties. You can also right click and choose properties. But from this list here, you're gonna be able to add a text frame. Clicking on this and choosing yes is going to automatically put a dynamic rectangle or square around your text. And you can see that it's dynamic and is going to change shape and match your text in your drawing. So this is a great and easy way to have that dynamic block or box around your text but what if you want something else or you don't want it to be dynamic you want it stationary regardless of the text there's another option for that and that is under express tools and then enclose in object this is going to give you a few different options but you need to select a piece of text so we're going to choose this title over here and hit enter now you can choose the offset or distance that it's going to space out around your text. By default, mine is at 0.35. I'm going to leave it at that. Now you can choose between three options, a circle, a slot, or a rectangle. For the example, we'll do a slot here first, and then you can do whether it is variable or constant. Uh, this is going to depend on the shape of your text and if things have moved. We're going to hit enter here. And you can see that my slot has now been created and you can see it is not dynamic and it is not linked to my piece of text it is now its own polyline so this can be a great way to create boundaries and things for say hatching around text but you don't actually want this box displayed so you can then delete it if you've say hatched or uh, trimmed something to not overlap with your text again you can do that command once more here so we're going to enclose an object choose our text hit enter keep that 0.35 and this time we're just going to choose say a circle and we're again we're going to keep it as variable and you can see that it's created a circle around our text now this is a great way for call outs if you say just have something like a letter a then you want a nice circle around it you can do that by selecting your letter hitting enter and circle and you can see now you've got a circle around your text 
Now, I have shown this in previous videos uh, using a different method, and that's by creating a custom multi-leader that has the circle block that surrounds your text, and that is another way as well. If you want to check that out, look at one of my previous videos, which I'll link down below. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned a few little tips and tricks when creating text in AutoCAD. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course available at that link up above. Thanks and have a good one. Cheers.